So check this out everyone, the bike is on cruise control and all I'm going to do is push one finger, just light pressure, watch, the bike goes to the left. I push left, the bike goes left. And I just push the other handlebar right there just so I don't go into the other lane. So watch again, push and the bike responds. Instantaneously, people think counter steering is some big, huge, dramatic, like punch on the handlebars. It's not. Look, I'll even push the mirror because it's just, it, because it's attached to the handlebars. It's the exact same thing. If you push forward, the bike will lean. That's what causes the bike to lean. You're gonna go in that direction. And once it's leaning, it's gonna pretty much stay leaning. You don't have to do anything else. That's why I always have to press the other handlebar just to make it come right back upright. Otherwise, I'll go right into the guardrail or off into the other lane. But watch, just push, the bike leans, and it goes in that direction. And it'll stay like that. So all you need to do is just keep on pushing until you get your desired lean angle, and then you could stop pushing going through a corner. When you're ready to come out of the corner, counter steer again. If you're going left, right, and you're done cornering, push on the right handlebar to stand it back up. All it takes is one finger. It doesn't take much of anything. If I push right, the bike destabilizes and falls over to the right and I go to the right. Counter steering depends on how quickly you push the handlebars, not the speed of the motorcycle. So when I'm going to be going eight miles per hour right here, I will counter steer and you will see it. Because to go right, I'm going to push quickly on the right bar, you'll see the handlebars go left and then the bike will tip over and fall to the right. And because the caster effect of trail, you'll see the front tire turn to the right. The front tire does face in the direction you're going. It just has to go the wrong way first to get it to fall over. But you'll be able to see it very easily. Watch, I'm going to show you, all right? Front tire. Push right. All right, everybody, so level three of counter steering. If I'm on the bike going any speed, eight miles per hour or 80, if I push left, the front tire will momentarily go to the right, but that causes the bike to destabilize, see what I'm doing? And fall or tip or lean, right? Whatever way you want to describe it, to the left. If you just keep on pushing, you just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep, keep pushing, and not allow the front axis of the stream, of the handlebars and the wheel to turn into the direction you're going. If you just keep pushing, 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 you will continue to lean and you're just gonna crash. So level three is this. Why don't you look up the caster effect of trail? Or you can look it up and read all about it in Total Control Second Edition by Lee Parks. So this is what happens in slow motion. You push left, the bike begins to fall or tip to the left and you lean to the left. Once you are at your desired lean angle, you need to relax on the steering head to allow the handlebars and wheel to turn into the direction you're going. And that part happens automatically once you release pressure. You do not have to physically turn the handlebars into the direction that automatically happens. But not knowing that and just knowing the basic part is what could get you into trouble. Think push left, go left, which is true. Look left, push left, go left, and you're gonna lean to the left. But you have to relax the push and allow the handlebars and wheel to turn then into the direction you're going. So if you get right here, right? So if I'm going down the road, I push left, front tire goes the wrong way for a moment, but then you start to lean. And once you get to the desired lean angle you want, you relax on the push to allow the handlebars to turn into the direction you go. That's why if you ever look at a picture of any motorcycle in a turn, the wheel is facing, it's turned into the direction you are going. It's never facing the wrong way. It's just to destabilize the motorcycle. You have to push it the wrong way first, push left, right? The bike falls over. Once you're at your lean angle, you relax on the push to allow the handlebars to turn into the direction you're going. Look at any picture of any rider, just Google images, motorcycle turn or whatever, and you'll see that front tire is facing into the direction you're going. Another thing to think about for level three, if I push left, the motorcycle leans to the left and you go to the left. The same thing is true if I pull right. So a lot of the times I ask people uh, just to see if they know how to counter steer, like, like Let's go down this road where it's relatively easy turns, not much traffic, ride one-handed. Once you get to third gear, take your left hand off and put it behind your back or put it on the gas tank. 
So to go right, you look right, you push right, you lean to the right, you go to the right. But how do you go left? We obviously pull, because pulling right is identical to pushing left. So that's another thing to understand. A lot of people say, I don't, I never counter steer on the motorcycle because I never actually push. I agree, you are not aware that you are pushing, maybe because you're just not aware, or maybe because you're actually pulling instead of physically pushing. And either way works perfectly fine. I like to do a lot with my left hand because I want my right hand free to worry about the throttle and the brakes. You see what I'm saying? Or sometimes I ride around one-handed to do three things at once, steering, throttle, and brake control. But if I'm going to the right, a lot of the times I do not push forward on the right handlebar because it's difficult to keep it steady while working the throttle and the brakes. So I do the steering with the left hand. If I wanna go right, I pull left to get the bike to lean. And then instead of relaxing the push on this hand with my throttle, I relax the push here to allow the handlebars to turn the direction you're going. So level one, level two, level three. Hopefully this cleared things up.